why do you coach? Yeah, it's um, it's a good question. Um, I think, mate, like, like any kid growing up in Australia when you're younger, you just get a you know a real genuine love of sport in general. Um, so growing up, mate, whether it was rugby league or, or cricket, you know, you're that traditional kid growing up where you do a winter sport and a summer sport. And um, I was like, you know, no different to any other young kid. I just, you know, whether it was a bat or a football or whatever, I just love being a part of it. So my love of sport was um, grown from a young age and really encouraged by my family, which I was really lucky with. Um, and then I probably got into it. I always really enjoyed um, phys ed and that type of stuff. So I studied physical education at uni. Um, I had a younger brother um, that also played cricket and rugby. So I followed his teams around a little bit and um, he's a little bit younger than me. So I think when I was about 17, um, his cricket coach when he was in under 10s just asked me to come along and I wouldn't say it's an assistant coach or anything like that, but just to help out with the young kids. And, and man, I really loved it. it. It really sparked a fire inside me um, that I felt I could combine my passion for sport um, but also helping, um, you know, young kids, you know, do what they want to do. Um, and then through uni, I worked as a boarding house tutor at Churchy. Um, and a part of that role was that you had to um, contribute to the co-curricular program. So they give you a rugby team to coach and um, a cricket team to coach. And um, you'd always fill your teams with all the boarders and, um, you know, rip in and have a really good year. But you're coaching all levels. Um, and back then, they put you in the bottom team. So, you, you know, you coach the... 14 Fs and third 15 rugby team. And then if you did well, they'd move you forward. And then it just became a real goal of mine to kind of um, see how high up whilst I was doing that boring shooting that I could actually coach a churchy. So I was really lucky to be at my old school that I went to. So I knew a lot of the teachers and a lot of the kids coming through. And it was just a great four years that I had whilst I was studying at university. Um, and then I went into development um, at a young age. I kind of left uni and I, I had a job opportunity to go to Queensland Rugby as a development officer. And I thought I'll give that a go for three years. And if it doesn't work out, I'll go back to teaching. So I was playing at that stage and, and working as a development officer in Brisbane. And um, mate, life was good. I was, I was combining my passion with what I wanted to do. Um, you know, the pay scale of a DA back then wasn't great, but you knew that you're picking up um other things with coach education you're getting accelerated with your learning as you're doing it as well which i really loved um so even through playing i'd, I'd still keep up my coaching with various teams and um and then mate i missed out on my level three when i was about 28 warren rebillied who's uh, at yeah. as well big was he was the coach manager at the time and, and he was great he just said look mate yeah you're still playing at the moment. So I can't give you a level three when you're taking up the spot of another coach. Um, so I, I finished up playing at the end of that year and thought, right, well, you know, it's time to push the button on this coaching. It's something that I've always really had a passion for. Um, and the timing was right for me to give it a go. So that, that's kind of the basis of how I got into it.